Hello all. Welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you are doing well. So this is a video where I'll be basically explaining if you have what type of resume you are resume is most likely to get rejected by either a manual inspection of your resume or by the steps. Okay. Recently, I I posted there's an opportunity in our team for React developer opening. A lot of people applied for this opening. Applied as in they sent me a message across LinkedIn, Telegram, different other social media platform. So roughly, I got around one hundred ten to one hundred twenty resumes overall as, as messages. Out of which hardly I could get out of around ten resumes, which are like quality resumes that meet the requirement. I'm not saying remaining were not having that enough quality to clear the interview, but resume was not speaking them. Instead of like I have already given feedback a lot of people, but I couldn't give detailed feedback to everyone. What is the problem with resume? So I hand picked four resumes to explain the problems without wasting further time. Let's get started. How a resume should not be there. Okay, so let's start one by one. Let's go with this fourth resume first. Okay, so I have like removed the individual person's name and contact. No, nobody should be harmed when I am making this particular video. But let's understand the problems of given resume. And if you are having a similar resume, please do overcome the problem that I am saying so that next time whenever applying, there is a high chance your resume gets shortlisted. First, why have you kept so much big picture in your resume? This this person has kept a really big picture. Some people have kept a small picture also. Hardly your picture matters in your resume. What matters is your skill, not picture. If at all you want to put, do not put like half a page of your photo only. Put a small one if you want. But if you ask me by personal message, do not put your photo at all. No need of your photo. Second, address. Why the, there's the need for address? Your resume is a public document. Lot of them will be shared across multiple people. Keeping an address here is a personal problem for you. Security concern. Do not write any address on your uh, resume. If you ask me, you should not even write your date of birth. But let's imagine for just for the age and other factors. You can keep if you want. You can mention the date of birth, or if you if you do not keep that also, that's also wonderful. Next, this bio. See the you. Uh, I'm I'm not sure how many if you actually give, be interviewing a candidate, uh, and if you are from the other side, not getting interviewed, but interviewing a candidate, do you really think this big paragraph will be read by a recruiter or a a, a interviewer when they have hardly a couple of minutes? Interviewer hardly have couple of couple of minutes before starting the interview. They check your resume. Or if at all it is a recruiter, they also have one or two minutes to review your resume and shortlist reject. So do not keep a very big bio of yourself. Keep it short. Okay. Next. So education, this experience properly written, like 2030 to present Global Logic India, they, this person is working. And where they mentioned like developer and maintain React Native component screen, ensuring cloud platform compatibility, designing, implementing mobile app and React Native, being familiar with RESTful APIs. I understand, but what is the project? You should mention in one line. Let's say I built a food uh, lending application similar to Swiggy, and the average users were for daily is fifty thousand. On Play Store, we have a download of a million, something like that. If you mention, I'll be able to relate to your work, correct? If you simply mention I, I built React Native app, etc., then you're not making a sense. So I suggest mention about your project in one to two lines, and then explain more. Okay, this is the problem with the first resume. Let's go to the second resume. So this particular resume, okay. So here also again they have the big summary. This is okay. Uh, I suggest if at all you have to keep a summary, keep just keep two lines. But let me let's see other problems in the resume. Second, so this person has worked from twenty twenty December twenty twenty one present in the tech point dot tapped, which is good. He has mentioned it. But look at this paragraph. How do I extract what they have worked? Second, where is the skills? So this uh, here something is mentioned. But the actual skill section is kept at the bottom. See, you are looked at. Somebody looks at your resume. The first thing that they are looking at it at actually is the skills. So always keep the skill section on the top, followed by a project. But always mention the projects in bulletin points, one after another. Like this particular person has done the bulletin points, but there is no there is no right way he has done. He or she has done. So here, what I am suggesting is write it in the bulletin forms for one to two points. Explain about the project. Then you explain the challenges that you handled or challenges that you solved in that particular project. Okay, otherwise it becomes extremely hard to understand like what is your contribution. Move the skills to the top. Let's go to the next resume. This particular resume, if you see again, professional summary of big. Again, you can keep it short. Good. If you look at this resume, the skills are kept on the uh, top, which is very good. Come here. So now, but here again, if you look at it, this particular uh, the prob guest problem is this resume is. Though the skills are kept on top, imagine the skills here. Tools used, React Native, React JS. See, these are first of all, these are all some are not tools also. Everything mentioned together, 
రియాక్ట్ నేటివ్ రియాక్ట్ చేసి రిడక్ట్స్ ఆగా అడోబ్ అడోబీ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ మేనేజర్ గ్రాఫ్ క్యూఎల్ నెక్స్ట్ జియర్స్ విఎస్ కోడే ఎవ్రీ పాసిబుల్ థింగ్ ఇఫ్ సీ ఫైర్ బేస్ బుస్టర్ మొంగో డిబి మైఎస్ క్యూఎల్ రాడీస్ ఎవ్రీ పాసిబుల్ థింగ్ ఇఫ్ యూ మెన్షన్ ఇన్ ద స్కిల్ హౌ డు బి షార్ట్ లిస్ట్ సీ దర్ ఓన్లీ టూ థింగ్స్ టూ రీజన్స్ ఎమ్ మడి కెమ్ కిప్ వన్ దే ఆర్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్లీ బ్రిలియంట్ వీ డూ అగ్రీ సెకండ్ దే ఎవ్రీ టాపిక్ దట్ దే హ్యావ్ రెడ్ ఆర్ దే హ్యావ్ వెరీ బేసిక్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆల్సో దే ఆర్ కన్సిడరింగ్ దెమ్ సెల్స్ ఇస్ ద మాస్టర్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ యూ టోల్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు మెన్షన్ లైక్ దట్ ఆల్సో ప్లీజ్ మెన్షన్ లైక్ ఇంట్రడక్టరీ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆన్ దిస్ బేసిక్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆన్ దిస్ అడ్వాన్స్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆన్ దిస్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దట్ అదర్ ఇఫ్ యూ సింప్లీ కిప్ ఆల్ ద స్కిల్స్ యూర్ ఆల్సో యూ నో స్టోరీ బుక్ ఆల్సో యూ నో ఫైర్ బేస్ బూట్ స్టెప్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ యూ మెన్షన్ దెన్ యూ లూజ్ అవుట్ యూ ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు మేక్ లైక్ మాస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ పీపుల్ విల్ థింక్ యూర్ జాక్ ఆఫ్ నన్ ఇన్స్టెడ్ అట్లీస్ట్ హైలైట్ ద కోర్ స్కిల్స్ that you want to get higher next you can mention like intermediate knowledge or beginner knowledge in these things okay this is the problem like whenever you mention skills be very careful to highlight what you actually know not like everything okay the last resume that i want to show so this particular person again there is no skills which is mentioned on the top is again a problem second no experience no experience as in candidate i'm not saying candidate is not having an experience where do i get to know how many years of experience candidate has should i be keep counting okay april 24 2000 he was here then he is here then okay 2 3 4 5 like this will the interviewer or the recruiter will be having that much patience to go through and check this resume and understand how much experience you have mention the overall experience how much ever you have this person has mentioned 3 years of experience like that so mention somewhere top only itself so that the whenever somebody is looking at it it is good or the wiser advice is the resume name only you can mention like vasant but react native developer underscore three years of experience with that if you write recruiter already know even before they open the resume they know your experience correct and make that change next again the skills are at the bottom move the skills to the top last thing i have asked for the react native developer opening where is react native in this resume first skill that you have mentioned is python how do we shortlist in such case if at all you think like you have multiple skills like i know people who are like very good at react native also they have a decent knowledge in react js or they also know some amount of angular also in such case like make three resumes do not have one resume where you are trying to fit all the three skills have a three different versions of your resume and uh, then upload those uh, resumes to different opening accordingly that's when they have a high chance of a resume getting shortlisted do not have one copy of resume with multiple different skills which are sometimes contradicting to each other and if you want to apply then highly unlikely you're going to get shortlisted again if you see here the font size size is changing here the font size are big here the font size is small i get the fact that you want to fit everything into one page but it doesn't doesn't look very good second if you see like sd2 at binal pen sd1 at binal pen if you have worked in the same company why you are mentioning that one experience here and one experience here what you can mention is the mention the company name on the top and then inside that you can mention like when you are sd1 what did you do or when you sd2 what did you do if you ask me you don't even have to do that you mention that company and you mention all the work that you did in that company highlight them very crisp mention in the bottom you can mention fii in this year to this year i was sd1 this year i got a promotion and then i became to sd2 now it looks like okay sd2 one company i am actually after checking this couple of times i realized the candidate worked in the same company for november 2023 to present so do not create confusion with recruiter or the interviewer okay to summarize your resume is shared with somebody whom you don't know correct so they don't know who are you so you should try to create an impression as quickly as possible correct so try to keep them very concise and highlight the key factors like for example if you have a project you built a mobile app how many users actually actually using it how much of revenue that is getting to your company what is the big challenge that you solved there like that you highlight and mention the core skills of yours not all the skills mention your experience on the top do not put your photograph or um, keep the your skills on the top of the your resume even the experience keep it in the top like this is a minor tweaks that you can do to your resume so that there is a high chance it get shortlisted that's all for the video if you like the video please like the video share the video to your friends and uh, i write very actively on linkedin follow me on linkedin and medium as well we have a telegram community of 3200 plus members link is in the description section please join our telegram group thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video